What will happen to Chad Doman in prison? Well, let's get to it. Unfortunately, this is the worst and most horrendous case that I've ever covered since I started doing this. So Chad Doman is self-admittedly and arrested in Ohio for killing his three sons, ages three, four, and seven, and shooting his wife in the hand as she tussled and wrestled to try to save the last remaining boy. As she grabbed the gun, he shot her right in the hand. In the midst of all that chaos, one of the boys ran into a field. And the man that's supposed to protect, provide, chased him down, dragged him back on the property, and executed his third son. These boys were aged three, four, and seven. And when he was arrested, he acted like nothing. Like nothing happened. Like he just got pulled over for a speeding ticket. After they took him down to the station, he admitted that he planned this for months and blamed it all on his wife. Pure coward. I don't care how bad a relationship is or what's going on. You're not man enough to walk away and start a life and raise your kids. Instead, you take advantage of the love and trust that they have for you. You're supposed to be their protector and their provider and you're their killer. This is going to be a little different. See, I don't know if you guys are familiar with Whitey Bulger. Whitey Bulger was a notorious killer, snitch, sex offender, just everything you don't want to be. And he went on the run for 20 years. When they finally caught him, they brought him to jail, you know, to go do his time. And they accidentally put him in general population. He was killed within two weeks, beaten so bad that one of his eyes popped out. This is the same type of treatment that Chad Doman is going to get. He's going to accidentally get a cellmate who's going to put an end to his life, beat him to death. I, I promise you this. This is not one of these cases where they go and extort him or they, they want to just squeeze and squeeze until he has nothing left. This man is pure evil and a coward, and he's going to have a hit on his back from the second he walks in the Department of Corrections. He'll get through the jail. He'll get the justice. I mean, the state prosecutor, the judge, they're all going to make sure they get that uh, courtroom justice. But that's not what we want. We want that real prison justice. And any man with kids, whether a corrections officer or a convict, sees this, it does something to you. It makes you think of just how evil and sick and twisted he is. And when they get their chance, they're going to give it to him. It might be one year, five years, ten years. But one day that door is going to open by accident and he's going to get a cellmate by accident who's going to cut his fucking throat. And while he's crying and begging for his life, I hope he feels just a little bit of what those baby boys felt. Rest in peace. Huh?